There is incredible change because this is the year that marks a transitionary time. There are several beings who are present and would like to share their guidance and their perspective. We are being encouraged to strengthen our path, strengthen our mission, really. We are far more important than we think because of the way that we affect all those around us. There is a source of energy that we all have access to at this time that is particularly potent. The more that we give our own attention to what we are growing, the more support that we are able to give to all humanity. Hi, my name is Alunia. This is my first channeled video that I am giving out to the public. It is a connection to source energy, and specifically it's looking at the first three months of the year, so what we can expect in January as well as February and March. There is a energetic source that we are told that we can tap into, and I want to make sure that you know what is coming so that you can get the most benefit from this month and so that you can have a sense of where to put your energy, where to put your attention, and how to ground yourself and really be fully present with what is coming to us. You can follow me on YouTube and Instagram for more videos and channelings that are going to come out throughout this year. And we are going to get more specific into certain aspects of life, so do come back and see what else is upcoming for us. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy this message. I call on my angels and guides, my higher self, and Archangel Michael to be present for this reading. Please protect my channel, keep it open and clear. Thank you. I call on the Ascended Masters who are guiding me and humanity at this time toward unity, toward peace, toward light. You are welcome to come through if you have guidance that you would like to share. What is most pertinent for humanity to know at this time? In this month and this year, yes. Who is speaking? Archangel Uriel is coming through. Who? And she is saying that, or they are saying that, how did you phrase that? The shadows will be long and it can be harder to discern how to play with the light and the shadows, <laughs> but treating it as a game and finding mm, strength in the play is important specifically this month and this year, but especially the really the beginning part of the year. It seems like maybe the first three months, there is a really strong focus on finding and mm, creating and enhancing one's strength with and through joy and play. Okay, so it seems like this is going to be an overview of the first six months of the year with a mm, stronger focus on the first three months. But it, there are many themes that carry over into the six month marker. And there are several beings who are present and would like to share their guidance and their perspective on how to harmoniously and joyfully and with an open heart move through these next six months of this year, which brings incredible change, they say, mostly on an energetic level, 
there is incredible change because there is, this is the year that marks a transitionary time, which is why the first six months there is a um, particular focus and there are specific energies that are present for the first six months that will that will be present in the second half, um, but in a different way. Because this year marks a bridging time. Um, they're showing me energetically a little bridge that connects somewhere in the middle of the year. And that's not necessarily an exact marker, but somewhere near that time, there's going to be a bridge and a, and a slow easing and transition into the next phase. Um, and is that for all of humanity? No. So, okay. So then who is this actually for? Okay. So this is actually specifically pertaining to, they use the word light workers and other galactic beings who are here incarnated in, in human bodies. Um, they are ahead of the curve of most humans. And so they are going to be just a little bit ahead as we have always been of the collective to usher in the next cycle that humanity is going to go through collectively. So there is a good amount of preparation that has certainly already been done, they are saying. Um, and there are ways to ease this transition and the analogy that I'm being given is to make the landing a bit smoother rather than a bumpy landing. So that is the guidance that is going to come through today, here and now. So what are some daily practices that we as light workers and galactic beings incarnate as you said what can we do on a more regular basis to help ourselves with the strengthening and to harmonize ourselves with the energies of the first six months of the year Hmm. Okay, so there is a highlight here of creating a stable ground to walk upon. They are showing a... Um, it's like the, our individual paths have been smoothed. And we are being encouraged to lay some tiles down to strengthen our path, strengthen our mission, really, and create a more stable and solid place and way for us to walk. And so what that might look like is a return to simplicity, they said taking away the, what do you want to call them? The extraneous parts of life that can seem enjoyable, but ultimately cause an imbalance. Um, and also I'm getting the energy of distraction. So, taking away things that are distracting um, to keep one's vision really clear and on the path. They're showing someone being on their path, but looking off on the side, kind of at these different plants or different objects that they find on the side 
rather than mm, focusing on this stabilizing, um, this creation of stability. So rather than looking off and getting distracted, um, really staying true to what is needed for us right now. And remembering they're saying that we are part of a greater collective and the more that we give our own attention to what we are growing, to what we are inviting the world to be in, the faster it grows, the more support that we are able to give to all, all humanity. So it's just a, a gentle reminder, they're saying, of the power of our attention and the power of ourselves as individuals, even though it may, it may not seem that way, we are far more important than we think just as an individual because of the way that we affect all those around us. Okay, so a creation of stability. And they are saying that that can be found in many ways for different people. But every day, really finding what is stabilizing for you is what is the most important. And that might not look the same every day. And that certainly will not look the same for every person. But that is a very important piece that they are, mm, that they are really wanting me to highlight and focus on because it is very significant for us. So another practice that they are inviting is one in which at the end of the day, we wipe the board clean. We reset our energy field. There is a lot of debris that we gather over the course of the day. And rather than waiting until we sleep, which sleep naturally resets the energy body and, and clears the slate, so to speak, rather than wait for that time, they are encouraging us to clear it ourselves. That may be done through a brief rest um, or some other means of an energy practice, whether that is doing Reiki on yourself or simply taking a walk, but doing something every day at the end of your work day to reset your energy. This is important, they're saying, because it is in those in-between hours that we are going to find and create the most stability for ourselves, as well as open ourselves to a sense of play and therefore a sense of possibility, which is much harder to do if we have debris hanging over us, if we have a cloud or a shadow overhead, it is much harder to enjoy the sun. So they are saying to let that go at the end of every day, no matter how big or small that practice may be, it is whatever works for you as an individual. And again, they are stressing that this may change from a day to day uh, scenario. So it is not necessarily they are not saying to be locked into some practice that has to happen for a certain amount of time every single day. Um, it is really just about checking in at the end of every day to reset yourself before moving into whatever the time off for that day looks like for you. Okay, that is helpful. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so I began to peek ahead at what mid-January uh, towards the end of January really was looking like. And what came through was a very strong energy of organization. So there is a... Hmm, there is a source of energy that we all have access to at this time that is particularly potent 
and it is about it is an energy of organization um and and, and paired with that organization is a sense of clarity where we will very clearly see how all the pieces fit together of what we are doing in our lives some of the things I see that some of you have been working on projects and not knowing necessarily where they were going. You are going to have clarity mid to the end of January around where that's going. And some of you may find that they are going in a very different direction than you initially thought. And that is okay, I am being told. Um, you, you're going to have exactly the clarity that is that you have been seeking and that is meant for you mid to late January. Um, there is another energy thread there. Yes, and so then there's another, another part of this group that have begun endeavors is the, the word, um, meaning that perhaps these projects uh, have been more backed it by a monetary sense. So these endeavors that you have taken on, you are going to understand why you took them on. They are either going to naturally and organically find their way out of your life um, because the clarity that will come will mean you are going to see how those endeavors added to your growth. And then if you have outgrown it, you will simply shed that skin very easily. If the endeavor is something that you are meant to follow and pursue and build more of, you will find the resources, the people to do that. So that is another part of this energy. There is a third piece. There is a group of there is a smaller number of people here um, that I'm seeing. But there are a, a few of you who have actually been, I see, very confused. There are lots of very heavy clouds of confusion. Um, and I see a sense of despondency, a sense of loss, a sense of being lost, confusion is is high um and it looks like those clouds are also going to be parting so mm, what is being encouraged is that if you fall in that category of having almost no clarity whatsoever for a while you feel a bit heavy you feel bogged down if that is where you fall then what is being encouraged is to begin your focus on this pool, this source of energy of organization and clarity now. Um, there is a, a little bit more clearing or heavy lifting, if you will, uh, to do in order to break those clouds because some of them have taken root a little bit um, in, in your energy body in a way, in your consciousness. And they feel almost natural now. Um, there, there is a feeling of comfort almost in them. And so in order to break those up more steadily and still get the benefit of this energy source that we are being given in, in the month of January, uh, set your intentions now of and, and, and express your affirmations stating that you are ready to release the clouds of confusion, the burden of despondency, loss, and a lack of clarity. Um, and finding the words that really mean the most to you because there are energies in there that will really feel the most resonant to you, but affirming that you are ready to let that go and that you are ready to invite in the light of clarity into your life. So that is a very important piece to begin now at the start of January to take full, to get full benefit of the energy that is coming to us in mid to late January. Okay, that is very helpful. Thank you.
Hmm. Okay, so February is... There is a sense of refinement that will take place in February. Not to such a fine degree as um, perhaps the nitty gritty details being worked out, but a, a refining will take place in February uh, following the, what word is correct? Mm -hmm. The refinement will match the amount of work that is put in in January. Um, and that is not to say that if you begin to feel a lack of clarity, if you still do not feel clarity by February, that you have not put the work in. That is not to say that. There are times and places where energies such as a lack of clarity are actually meant for us and we are growing within the cloud. So if that is a category that you fall into, there is no need to despair. That does not mean that you have not done enough work or done the right thing. It simply means that that is what is meant for your highest growth. For those who put in the effort, who find a rhythm with the work that they are doing, with the organization and the clarity that comes in the month of January, there will be a sense of refinement coming in February that looks like a sense of truly understanding the amount of time, the amount of energy, and the type of energy that goes into a project or the endeavor that you are pursuing and that you have been led to pursue. So it will be a, a similar time to January in that we are moving a lot of energy and riding, if we want to, riding the waves that are available to us of, of organization and of this momentum that we have available to us. That will continue in February. It will just be more refined and because we will have been on that energy already we will actually have a better sense of balance they are likening it to someone who learns to surf or snowboard or uh, skateboard for the first time it is you're very wobbly and then you understand the feeling of the snow, the water, the cement beneath you and you know exactly how to move and maneuver. Even though you might still feel yourself come off balance, you know how to bring yourself back up again. So that is the energy and the feeling of February that we will be moving into. Is there more there? It looks like our group will be experiencing a little bit of an early spring energetically, as it were, in February. Um, so towards the, the latter half of the month, um, there is this mm, coming up within our own beings and also as a way of inviting more community into our lives. And that may not necessarily mean new people that you do not know currently, um, but there is a deepening in February with people that that are already present in your life. And there is there are also some newcomers um, or perhaps people who have been on the periphery in your community who come in a little bit closer. Um, there, there is going to be a a bonding of kinship really happening in February that is related to this budding energy of spring that is going to come to our group a little bit earlier. So that is something to really look forward to. That's quite nice. Okay, interesting. So March, what they are showing me is this beautiful space where a lot of us are going to be, 
they're showing us essentially ice skating in a way um gliding really is is perhaps a better word for it um there is a sense of achievement that's not really the right word there's a sense of arrival that will happen in march energetically we will feel the benefit of having put in the time and energy that we did in the beginning part of the year and there is this place where we will get to enjoy a little bit this little resting period um we will have brought ourselves energetically to this new place and also invited others to be there with us as well. And we will get to enjoy that for a time. Um, this place feels a bit like we will have um, a vista in a way. And so we will be able to kind of look back on what we did and also have a view of where we are going and know that we are know that we are not alone in where we're going and really see the the fruits of the labor that we've put in so far um and they are correcting me that the fruits will actually not be there because that is for a slightly later time but uh we will be able to experience again this this kind of rest um like a rest day after after a, a very a week or so of intense working out, a day of rest. It will feel a bit like that um, or what it feels like to reach a, a beautiful height of a hill or a mountain after a really long walk and enjoy a picnic there. It will feel a bit like that, <laughs> a picnic among friends. And so that is something that we will really get to look forward to. Um, yeah, for March and... It does come just in time for the shifting of seasons um, for all of us. So is there more to March? So this feels a little backwards, actually, to me. <laughs> um, uh, they are saying that the first from from through january and and most of february it is a more physical experience of effort it will feel more physical um although there is energetic work happening and the effort that you may be putting in uh will be energetic but there is more of a physical physicality to the uh, this this first part of the year and where we're being invited and encouraged to put our our energy into and March although the shifting of seasons uh, usually brings more physicality and particularly leaving the winter normally brings that March is actually going to look more like a time of research that is the word that came through so more information regarding a great deal of things that relate to the world at large, but also really just what you are choosing to do and where you are choosing to put your time and energy are going to come through in March. So there is almost a mental refining period that is happening in March that is that is different than February because February is more of a physicality, um, uh, yeah, and, and a physical, more material experience compared to March. So March is more mental, um, more cognitive, and it is a, another form of refinement happening informationally. Hmm. Yes, and there is a someone mentioning that March is a time to remember and to call on the powers of discernment that we each have as it can be very easy to be carried away uh, down a rabbit hole of information and 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 get kind of lost in it um, so they are inviting us to to remember discernment and to call on that when we are when we are researching and and taking in new information and they're also mentioning that if we 
feel a sense of being tangled up in our own roots and vines by turning around and trying to see every perspective possible, then they're saying to just, just stop <laughs> and rest and let it go for a time because clarity will return when we take a break and when we don't feel like we are so tightly wound up in, in what we're looking for. So they are inviting us to also create space. Um, the mind can very easily be a loose horse and, and take us in directions um, that may show us some pieces of truth, but if it goes by so fast that we don't catch it, then the uh, uh, impression that we have may not be entirely accurate. So they're inviting us to go slowly and to rest through March as well. And if we do feel ourselves getting a bit too caught up, then to just take a break and to let it go for a while. That is really the main focus for this video. There's more to come. The second half of the first six months, <laughs> uh, the energy will shift quite a bit. And that is something to know at a later time. So we will check back in. Thank you, angels and guides. Thank you, Ascended Masters, Archangel Michael. Thank you for this reading. My energy stays with me. Your energy stays with you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that that was helpful for you. I welcome your questions and comments. I love to hear how this message landed for you and to know if any of it resonates. You can find me at emergingpresence.com if you'd like to know more about my work or set up a one-on-one -on -one reading with me. May you remember your magic today.